I want to talk about music. It's past, present and future. How it came to be, why it is where it is now and where it's going in the future. The truth is, I see it going in one of two places in the future. It can either plot along towards its future as it is right now and um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, but I see a better future and, th and that's what I want to achieve. I, wanna, I want to bring our resources together to achieve the best musical future we could have. And uh, yes, it's absolutely selfish. I just want to hear better music. So uh, that's, that's my goal here. I'm hoping that others have the same goal. Um, we want to hear better music. And um, there's great music right now, but the whole process needs to improve. So let's talk about the things that I liked about the past. I liked the fact that music was once upon a time created because people genuinely loved music. They, you would get a farmer that would just whistle the tune that was in their head and it was a fantastic tune. So other people would listen to the same tune as well and go, you know what, that's actually quite a good tune. And they would regurgitate that tune and, and it would become a thing, it would become um, a, uh, a common sound in the, in the village. And, and I miss that. To be honest, I've missed that. I've never experienced that. Uh, the closest I've ever experienced is, is music in a nightclub, which, yes, has given me shivers at time, but none of, none of my mates have created it. It's, it's always been something that has been given to me and I've had no influence in its direction other than paying for the entrance fee into the club and promoting that club and the music that it generated. So yes, I had an influence, but it was minuscule. And to be honest, yeah, I wish I, wish I had a little bit more impact. I wish I, I, I could direct music in, in, a, in a manner that truly, truly sat with me in, in an emotional way. One that really got to me, you know that, you know that song where you, where you get the shivers and you just, you have to just sit back for, for, for a moment and go, I love the song. I absolutely love it. Just, just shut up everyone. I just want to hear the song. This is, this is amazing. This is, this is for me and me alone. And, um, there's, there's also listening to music with people. I get that. Yep. Actually, in fact, that's, that's a huge part of my life as well. Music with, with friends. Uh, but yeah, there's, what about the music in the soul? That's, that's what I'm missing. So that's the past, the present. What I like about the present music is the fact that it's, it is at our fingertips. It's, we're almost there. We're almost there. It is fantastic. We've come a long way, um, but we, <laughs> we're still limited. We're still limited by the, the algorithms and the, the bombardment of, of what sells. And I, and I definitely want, I want to remove this. I want to remove the step. So what would I like in the future? I would like, I think my number one thing is, is collaboration. I want to collaborate more. I want more collaboration amongst genuine artists who hear genuine music in their heads and want to get it out there, who don't know how to get it out there who don't have the equipment to get it out there and the resources and we'll come onto the resources in a future video but that's definitely an area that I, that I think is is in need of some serious attention so what are the things that I've disliked in the in the past well it was hard to create music it was hard to record it you in fact once you whistled it it was done if you had this amazing tune in your head and you forgot it that's it it's gone um you you 
had no way of recording it down. And then eventually, they, uh, if you if you watch the uh, the uh, the videos out there on the internet about uh, musical history, it is it's amazing. It's I'd, I highly recommend you go watch it. It's it's quite fascinating to see how humans have evolved in their emotional love for music. It's it's incredible. Go watch it. But um, my point, what I disliked about that that era was you were you were limited in in quite a few areas. Uh, you were limited in your creation, your recording, and just the general knowledge. And you were especially limited in hearing it. So that's the past. What I disliked about the past. The thing I dislike about the current is is it's still dominated by a select few orchestrators. It's, so in the, in the recent past, you, you had a few big players, big artists, and they dominated. And if you weren't them, you had no chance. Then YouTube came along, Amazon Music, Spotify, um, improved recording studios, home recording studios, and that made a huge difference, and I'm I'm really proud of where we've where we've come. I think we've done amazing, but it's still dominated by these algorithms that are learning. I I get that they that they need to evolve, but I, what I'm afraid of is that the algorithms are are designed at moment at the moment in line with profits, and with profits you reduce. Heart. You you reduce the whole purpose of music. You with putting profits at the forefront of music creation, you're designing a whole different beast. You need to remove that. Remove profits and and go straight to the core of why we listen to music in the first place. We listen to it for the love of it. And this is this is one of the areas that I dislike about music in today's world, and it's, it's another reason why I think that people get into music. P people get into music for um, for the sake of making it big. Forget that. Just create your stuff. Just just do whatever you want to do, and just create it. You have got the platforms now. You've got cheap recording equipment, home re uh, recording equipment that that can get the message across. Can can record the message down allow other people to take that concept and improve it for you it's your song allow them to to incorporate that into their process and then give it back to you and you will man it, the songs in my head i absolutely love they're my songs in my head i don't know how to get them down i don't know how to make them sound amazing they sound amazing in my head, but in reality, when, I, when it comes to it, when it comes to the crunch, they, they don't sound as good. But if I can get the concept across and then someone else can take that song and, and give it back to me with improvements, yeah, I'm all for that. So, so let's go for it. So that actually brings me on to what, what I would like in the future. Actually, that's something I've already said. So... What do I dislike about the future? To be honest, not much other than the fear of not achieving the things that I like. So what I'm afraid of is that we, we stay in a, in a profit-seeking world, in a, in a, a Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein, win asshole type of world where, where we where it's dominated by select few, few individuals, as I said, and, and they wreck it for everyone else. They take advantage. And um, if, if you don't play their game, if you don't play their game, they're going to, um, they're going to cut you out or you can play along, but they'll, they'll, they will abuse you along the way. And that's got to stop. So I dislike that future. I, I, I cannot stand that idea. So that brings me on to ideas. And so ideas from the past, music. It never existed before. And then the first human, the first guy that heard a song, oh, I kind of wonder, do animals, do animals hear music? Um, do, they, do they hear it the way we do? When a cat listens to our radio playing, do they go, 
I've heard this one before. There's something to it. I want to stop and just hear it. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I, ha I haven't actually looked for any content that actually has done any re research on that. But that would be amazing to see. I'd like to know about the first humans that, that came up with music concepts. And uh, I actually want to uh, dive deeper into why humans like music. There, there's obviously something going on with, with our emotional um, connection to, to these vibrations. That's, that's what they are. They're just, they just vibrations in the atmosphere and, and we love them. They, they trigger emotions. They're good for us. They, um, they can uh, enhance a, a mood and, and they can be romantic, which is, which is incredible. So, um, music, fantastic idea to begin with. So right now, I mean, the, the number of ideas going on right now is just incredible. You've got all these, um, these musical equipment, uh, home, reco home recording studios, which is, is just incredible. They, you used to have to be limited confined to a recording professional recording studio and now you can buy cheap equipment for 200 bucks and and get going so that of course is going to enhance the range of talents that that is going to produce so yeah i'm excited for that um the the ideas of the presence is is immense you got the recording equipment you got the um uh the vsts uh, virtual something and um, uh, these plugins that, that can manipulate the sound and the the algorithms that go into these applications is is unbelievable it's it's some seriously clever stuff so I'm really impressed with that so well done guys keep it going for the love of it keep it going um, some of the prices are extortionate once again profits so um, one of my favorite apps out there is caustic app it's on Android I think it's on um, iPhone as well on the iStore and it's amazing it's a fiver and I'm blown away by how much technology is in there it's just incredible so for, for a fiver that's unbelievable uh, I don't know where the, the Corsic app producers are at the moment, the developers. Um, it looks like that they haven't actually had an update for quite a while and there's, there's limited progress since, since they developed the app. But um, for what they've done is unbelievable. So the ideas of the future, like I said, collaboration. I want, I want to collaborate. I want to get our ideas aligned in, in, a, in a fashion that, that promotes music at the heart. That, that's, that's my goal. Um, what, what are the other, other ideas? I had some fantastic ideas and they're all gone now. So I'm gonna end it right there and save them for a future video. Hope you're on, on it with me.